Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to calculate relative molecular mass and relative formula mass. In the last video we saw that the molecular formula tells us the number of atoms of each element in a molecule. And remember that molecular formula is used for covalent molecules such as butane. However, we cannot use molecular formula for giant structures such as ionic compounds. Ionic compounds form crystals consisting of a giant ionic lattice. In these cases, the number of atoms of each element is huge, and larger crystals contain more atoms than smaller crystals. So, for giant structures, we use the empirical formula. The empirical formula is the simplest whole number ratio of the atoms of each element in a compound. Now, in this video, we're looking at how to calculate relative molecular mass and relative formula mass. So, let's get started. I'm showing you here the molecular formula of the covalent compound dichloroethane. As you can see, this compound contains two carbon atoms, four hydrogen atoms, and two chlorine atoms. I'm showing you the relative atomic masses of carbon, hydrogen, and chlorine here. Now, we can use the relative atomic masses to calculate the relative molecular mass for this compound. The relative molecular mass is defined as the weighted mean mass of a molecule compared with 1 12th the mass of an atom of carbon 12. And relative molecular mass has the symbol capital M lowercase r. To work this out, we simply add up all of the relative atomic masses of the atoms in the molecule. So we have two carbon atoms, each with a relative atomic mass of 12.0. We've got four hydrogen atoms, each with a relative atomic mass of 1.0. And we have two chlorine atoms, each with a relative atomic mass of 35.5. Adding all of this gives us a relative molecular mass of 99.0. OK, now one key idea you need to understand is that we do not use large numbers to calculate relative molecular mass. And that's because relative molecular mass applies to one molecule. So this shows two molecules of dichloroethane. But the relative molecular mass of dichloroethane is still 99.0. Coming up, I'm going to give you some examples to try yourself. And we're going to look at the idea of relative formula mass. OK, I'm showing you here the molecular formula of the covalent compound diethylamine. And I'd like you to work out the relative molecular mass of this compound. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, we've got four atoms of carbon, and carbon has a relative atomic mass of 12.0. We've got 11 atoms of hydrogen, and hydrogen's got a relative atomic mass of 1.0. And finally, we've got one atom of nitrogen, and nitrogen has a relative atomic mass of 14.0. Adding all of these gives us a relative molecular mass of 73.0. OK, so as we've seen, the relative molecular mass is used for covalent molecules. But what about giant structures, such as ionic compounds? Well, in these cases, we calculate the relative formula mass. Now, this is actually really straightforward. The relative formula mass is calculated in exactly the same way as relative molecular mass, except that we use the empirical formula of the chemical. I'm showing you an example here. This is the ionic compound magnesium hydroxide. I'd like you to work out the relative formula mass of this compound. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, we've got one atom of magnesium, and magnesium has a relative atomic mass of 24.3. We've got two atoms of oxygen, and oxygen's got a relative atomic mass of 16.0. And finally, we've got two atoms of hydrogen, and hydrogen's got a relative atomic mass of 1.0. Adding all of these together gives us a relative formula mass of 58.3. OK, so hopefully now you can calculate relative molecular mass and relative formula mass. In the next video, we'll start looking at calculations involving the mole.